the key of secrets. In the shadows of history, during an age when magic and the mystical still thrived, a mysterious book emerged, the Lesser Key of Solomon, also known as the Clavicula Salomonis Regis, or Lamegaton. This book, born out of the tumult of the 17th century, contains ancient secrets and powerful spells, drawing from sources that stretch back centuries. The story begins with a manuscript hidden deep within the archives of European libraries. The work, as legend has it, was compiled by unknown authors who drew from long-forgotten times. It is divided into five parts, each a key to a different aspect of the occult world. Ars Goetia, the first part, revealing the names and hierarchies of 72 demons. Ars Theurgia Goetia, a book on the summoning of angels and demons in even more mysterious realms. Ars Paulina, a work about the secrets of the planets and their magical influences. Ars Almadel, a volume disclosing ancient rituals and knowledge about angels. Ars Notoria, a book showing the paths to boundless knowledge and intellectual enlightenment. What is intriguing about this book is its direct connection to Johann Weyer's Pseudomonarchia Daemon. Weyer, a scholar of the 16th century, compiled the names and descriptions of demons, but the Lamegaton expanded and altered his work. The sequence of spirits was changed, new demons were introduced, and an important spirit, proofless, was omitted. This suggests that the Ars Goetia was compiled after 1570, likely inspired by Reginald Scott's translations rather than Weyer's original work. The narrative takes an exciting turn with Thomas Rudd, another scholar who created his own version of the work, labeling it Liber Malorum Spiritum So Goetia. In Rudd's version, the seals and names of the demons were paired with the 72 angels of Shem Hamforash to control the demons and protect the summoner. This combination of angels and demons reflects a deeper connection to the magic and mysticism of the time. The writings of Blaise de Visionaire, used by Samuel Liddell MacGregor Mathers for the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, further enrich this tale. Mathers, a renowned occultist, translated and published the Ars Goetia under the title The Book of the Goetia of Solomon the King. However, Mathers was not the only one to influence the work. Alistair Crawley, another significant occultist, added extra invocations and interpreted the rituals as psychological explorations rather than actual demon summoning. Thus, the Lesser Key of Solomon remains a fascinating testament to bygone times, filled with secrets and unresolved mysteries. Its influence extends into modern occultism, leaving us with the question of what hidden forces and ancient wisdom still slumber within the pages of this enigmatic book.